10K. Give me that. Appreciate it, bro. This was the clip Dev posted on his IG. Now, it's your boy Marcelo Howard. I'm here another reaction video. Yes, indeed. But this is more of a sit down talk, man, to give y'all a rundown of what really happened. Because, you know, in the lab, Dev and Nav and all them, Frigga, those are my guys. So, you know, I pretty much, I don't know everything, but I got, I, I got enough scoop, you know what I'm saying, to just talk about the situation. So, going into the event, man, yesterday, big day. Big mother effing day. They changed the game for YouTube 1v1 forever. They had a lot of people out there calling them sellouts and whatever the case may be, but you got to be realistic with yourself here. When you get a bag from a brand deal, right, say if it's like fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars 70000 whatever it is, right, and you post it on YouTube, that's cool. But when you charge people $10 a ticket to get that same type of bag, 70 80 k whatever it may be total, you will sell out. That, that, to me, I don't get. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you can get a bag and and sell tickets for entertainment like these boxing niggas be doing, granted, they have free streams, but they're on bigger servers, bigger platforms, and they still get way more. They get millions from sponsors. Devin Free, you're not getting millions from sponsors? They they knew their worth. $10. A $10 ticket. I get it. Some of you guys out there couldn't afford it. I understand. That's why we were gifting out tickets. The fact that we, we, I'm not even a part of it. I'm just a supporter. The fact that they, that they sold 10,000 tickets and the video went out to 60,000 plus servers. 60,000 plus servers or peoples, however you want to say it. 60,000 people. They went on a small server for a reason. They sold 10,000 tickets. That server would have easily held those 10,000 viewers. Easily. But because we had people with big platforms out there Reacting to it live, Twitch streaming it, YouTube streaming it, all this other shit. It fucked up the servers. And it fucked up everybody who paid for it. You know what I'm saying? Who's waited, who actually paid. Only $10, mind you. Which a lot of y'all niggas talking about you can't afford a $10 ticket. Be the same ones, 7 a.m. waking up trying to get every Supreme drop. You feel me? Or waking up 7 a.m. trying to get every sneakers drop. Which is $160 and plus for, 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 like, for some damn Jordans, SBs, whatever you want to call it. Right? You gotta, you gotta be realistic with yourself here. I was like, damn, at first when they talked about they're gonna do an event, I was like, so it's not going on YouTube? I reached out to Dev, we talked. He gave me the bigger perspective of everything. I was like, oh, this actually is like a big deal. This is make this makes a lot of sense. It's gonna open a lot of doors for YouTube to eventually maybe sponsor one of the events and host it on their channel, you know what I'm saying? But they'll throw a bag on the back end or, you know, but who knows, you know what I'm saying? Like this right here is, it, it showed how much weight they can move um, when they come together as a collective. It's kind of like a boxing match. They did it for basketball. I don't see necessarily nothing wrong with it. Um, the problem was everybody out there, like this video right here, literally, Devontae Frigga 1v1 versus Devin Lab, what y'all think, fake. Just so that they wouldn't get the like the copyright strike or whatever the case may be. But you literally posted all the highlights from the ones, right? So I have the video. I have it from start to finish. Everybody who paid has the video from start to finish. If if we could have just kept it to the 10,000 people, you feel me? I feel like it would have been a success. It's, it was still a, a success anyways. They broke the server. Like, they over they overloaded the server, man. Um, at the end of the day, there's no better feeling than putting in hard work and seeing that outcome that they did have, although it didn't work out the way they wanted to because, like I said, people out there... Being cheap, ten dollars, man, T ten fucking dollars. But y'all go ahead and cop that two K. You from y'all go ahead and cop that VC and all that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I get it. I get it. You you want everything free? Everything we do for y'all on YouTube is free. You don't have to pay for that shit. So 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 it's my bad if we decide to throw an event in in, in terms of Dev and, and Friga, they they throw an event, ten dollar ticket. Shame on them. Fucking shame on them, huh? I'm being sarcastic, of course. I I applaud them for the effort, bro. I applaud them for making the platform to show people like myself that it's very possible to, you feel me, have an event like this in the future down the line or do something of this nature in person. Like the Ace family fucking does this, like technically the same thing. They sell tickets for an event. This is the same thing. This is an event. It's COVID. Had this not been COVID, I guarantee they would have sold out a whole gym. 
people came to watch them play once. Can almost guarantee it. Um, I don't see no difference between that. So just want to clarify that up, man. Everybody out there just hating on them for doing this, bro. Like, Freak and Dev know I got their back, man, to to the end, bro. So <laughs> everybody out there hating, that's that's what's up. But, you know what I'm saying? Don't knock the hustle until you try it. Or don't knock nothing until you try it, man. Um, I, like, I, I, I text them both before, like, yo, you guys change the game. Do your fucking thing tonight. You know what I mean? Um, now, a rundown of the game. First game, not going to lie, it wasn't even close, okay? It, it wasn't even close. Dev, was, it wasn't even close. Second game, a little closer. Dev, Dev pulled away. I feel like that third game, this is me being honest, Dev let up on the gas just a little bit. Friga won. And in that fourth game, I feel like Dev wanted to make it a little interesting. Locked in. Literally, I think he... Shit, did he... I think it was... At one point, it was like 2-2. Two to two. I think he just scored five straight. Game. 10K. That was a 10K shot right there. I think that was 7-2, I believe. And then they played a game after this. Um, Friga damn near shut out Dev. I don't think Dev scored that last game they played for fun. But all in all... I think it was a great event. Dev won the 10K, as you see by this post he posted on his IG. Um, and, I mean, if you guys want to watch the full thing, I'm pretty sure you guys can still purchase a $10 ticket to watch it for however long you want, how many times you want. I just think stuff like this, like if you go on YouTube, there's about five to six videos of people reacting or posting this video, right? And it's just like, damn. It, it gives away the the suspense and ultimately what they were trying to do. If, 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 if you support them, bro, Support them. Don't go behind that back and start streaming this shit, man, and then get mad when the servers don't work. Like, you, you can't get mad that you're part of the problem, right? You're streaming it, you're, you're sending it out to other people, and then you're getting mad that the server is not working or it's overloaded. It's because you're out there sending this shit out and streaming it. He literally posted the facts on Twitter. It's like 63,000 plus. And they only sold 10K tickets. It doesn't add up. Uh, and it was on a small server. So next time they do this, probably, it'll be on a bigger server. Tiny URL is not it. They they learn a lot of lessons, but like I said, I always got their back. So what we're not going to do is go at their heads like that, bro, because, pause, um, because they, I think they put on a dope event, bro. I, I think what they did with this shit was immaculate, and it was, it was dope for me. I was a fan, man. I was a fan, so, um, but yeah. That's pretty much all I got to say. That's my wrap-up of the, the 1v1 event. It was a dope event. Crazy camera quality. Um, shout out to Balls Life and for sponsoring that whole event, man. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's, I'm trying to think if, I, if I'm missing anything. Um, nah. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Appreciate you for watching, man. It's been Marcellus Howard. Think, make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn post notifications on. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And I was like, did I forget something? I feel like, like you ever you you always do something where you forget like you, you like 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 you're forgetting to say a very important piece of this fucking puzzle. Oh, and by the way, y'all did that streaming on that shit. Yeah, I I can't save you from a lawsuit or whatever's gonna happen. I mean, I hope hope it was worth it. Like this video, I hope it was worth it. I hope it was. I mean, I yeah um yeah so yeah yeah we are out of here. Yeah,